Hi everyone, I'm Janet Avila, owner of String Theory Yarn Company, and more recently, one of the Good Vibes Girls, and most recently, the designer of Only the Ocean Hat. And I wanted to take a minute today to tell you about my design inspiration. So when we do the Good Vibes Yarn Tour, we send a picture to the yarn dyers, and based on that picture, they come up with the exclusive colors for whatever um, project we're doing. So the picture that I sent to the dyer this time was um, of a giant jellyfish. And so in my pattern, so she captured the jelly, the orange of the jellyfish and then the dark blue is um, meant to be the, the deep sea where the jellyfish lives, lives. And I wanted to continue with that theme in my hat and capture both the waves and the tentacles. So this is meant to be the tentacles and it's a yarn over um, decrease kind of stitch that goes back and forth, which is kind of a wavy look. And then this simple cable stitch. And um, yeah, so the first time, just to give you kind of the behind the scenes, the first time I did this hat, this is the first version and um, it seemed impossibly small. I couldn't believe it. I blocked it, um, it relaxed a little bit, grew a little bit, but it just seemed really small. But when I tried it on, it fits perfectly. It, you know, covers my ears, it, it, it works. Um, but still I wasn't sure. It just seemed, it seemed very small. So I did another one as designers um, tend to do, make multiples. You'd be surprised how many versions of something were knit up before the actual um, uh, version that you end up purchasing. So this was my second version. And what I did was I reversed the colors just for fun. And I did an extra repeat of the um, cable. So it's a little longer and um, so I thought, well, this looks more like a human sized hat, but when I tried it on, um, I didn't like it. It, it poofed. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it didn't lay flat. I worked, um, hard on the decreases at the top so that it would decrease really rapidly and kind of lay flat. It wasn't slouchy when I wear it flat. It's just comes down too far. Um, really the other one's better. Now, if your um, head is bigger than mine, or you have more hair than I do, um, go ahead and add an extra repeat or an extra half of a repeat even of the, um, of the cable. And that's how you can adjust the size. It's really stretchy this way. Um, the cables have a tendency to bring things in, basically a rib stitch. So, um, yeah, so you don't need to cast on extra um, extra stitches, but you might want to play with the length a little bit. Um, the other thing that I did differently on my second version is this was the first version of the top of the hat, and I went with more of the uh, lacier look at the top, but and it's pretty, but I think it's overly complicated. Um, when you write out the pattern for that, it's, it's crazy. Like every row is completely different. So I decided instead to go with a simpler look, basically took the, um, knit stitches of the cable and worked those rather than the purl stitches of the tentacles. So I joined the waves instead of the tentacles, if that makes any sense. Um, and as I said, I wanted it to be kind of flat at the top give you that jellyfish shape. So um, it's very, the decreases are rapidly decrease. So that was my inspiration for the, only the ocean hat. In my mind, it's still a jellyfish hat, but um, only the ocean is a song that I love by Jack Johnson. And um, yeah, it just, it's a calming, soothing, talks about how restorative um, sitting by the ocean can be. And I feel the same way about knitting. So that's why this got that name. Hope you enjoy it. Um, hope you enjoy knitting it and wearing it as much as I enjoyed designing it. Um, hope to see you again soon.